turns out only 1% of you guys actually subscribe to the channel, and that's not good enough. So let's try to turn that around. So make sure to go subscribe right now, and yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a text that I made about two to one month ago. I'm showing on screen right now how I made these and how you can make it. Because I thought of this idea on Twitter. Um, I thought maybe I should show people how I made this. So let's get right into it. You want to go on Pixlr E, create new, uh, basically a thumbnail, if, if you're going to make a thumbnail. So we want to create a text and you want to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Ethan. I, I don't know why, to be honest. And then you want to scale it up, put it in the center and uh, select your fonts. I'm going to go for uh, uh, Fadoka and uh, yeah you're going to want to create two of these using Control d on your keyboard and you should have two and they both have to be rasterized using um, layer and rasterized layer so now that we have those we want to pick the bottom layer here and we want to filter and add an outline it doesn't matter the color because we're going to be changing it later so we have the outline making sure it's at the bottom row and the text on the top so the outline bottom text on top so we want to click on the outline one and we want to select the pixels because we're going to have a gradient on this which is nice so you click on gradient and you do whatever effects you want i don't know why it's like that to be honest but we're going to have a nice a nice little kind of bluish oh yeah that looks nice and then you want to uh, deselect the pixels using select deselect and yeah we got our nice great gradients outline here and then you want to click on Ethan the top text here which is just the white text here and you want to select the pixels and go to gradient and pick whatever gradient you want for me I'm just gonna go for a, kind of a whitish grayish kind of on it um, no, maybe not yeah that's all right and so then what we have here is kind of just a yeah just a nice little text um both with gradient and yeah that's how it should be and then we want to now select the outline here go to filter and click drop shadow making sure the occupancy however you say it is a 200 blur to zero offset to zero and this offset y to whatever you want and then we want to select the color to basically a darker kind of shade to the bottom part just to just to create that effect so it looks nice and basically this is how you are to make uh this kind of text that i made in the thumbnail two years two months ago jeez i can't speak and um yeah that's how you do it so i'm gonna be showing you also how to do this it's kind of the same as this but here you just have to you need like extra steps so how to do that is you want to click on the outline here outline layer and then you want to click filter and inner glow and what you're going to want to do is here is you want to click a more lighter type of uh yeah i'm, I'm more I'm, yeah just a, a way more lighter uh glow you want to have the size whatever you want you want feather to 100 and you want the occupancy how do you say it to uh, a decent decent thing to have like a 3d effect make it like glow inside and you also want to do that on the outer glow uh you want to have the same color just gonna select that there size make sure it's nice and big and occupancy to like whatever you want and so then it creates this glowy effect let's put it on a background let's see and yeah we've created ethan and yeah this is how you do it so yeah and i've made this so you guys can follow through it and you guys can use it in your thumbnails so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to go subscribe right now and i'll see you guys in my next video peace